So here I am. I'm ready to get started with this makeup look. And um, I just want to start off by saying that I don't have any makeup on right now. Um, and normally I can't start off by saying that in any of my videos so far because I always have a little bit of makeup on when I start a video. I at least have a teeny tiny bit of eyeliner. Um, I usually will take um, some eyeshadow that kind of matches uh, my hair color and a little um, uh, eyeliner brush and I'll do a very very quick little line along my eyelashes. Um, sometimes I'll fill, if I have a significant gap in my eyebrows, I'll fill that in a little bit. I'm going to make that promise to you guys now that I will not do that ever again. I will never try to hide my trick from you guys again. That I don't think that will be very healthy for me and I, I think it's not fair to you guys. I was kind of nervous about doing this video um, because of this aspect um, and last night I actually started to have second thoughts about doing it. Kind of the same thing that I've been doing since uh, I started my channel um, being like you're not ready yet. This morning I uh, I watched RuPaul's Drag Race and I went on a walk, a nice long walk, and uh, and I was like thinking to myself, what are you waiting for? I was like, you just need to do it. And and I'm, I'm very proud of myself. But let's go ahead and get started. And um, I want to start off by saying that um, nothing I'm going to be sharing with this video is what you have to do. There are no rules for doing makeup when you have trick. And you should not let your trick keep you from doing what you want. I wanna start off by saying that. This is just some tips and tricks about ways that you can use makeup to help you feel better, to help you feel more confident, to help you feel beautiful. Um, and that's all makeup is. Okay, so the first tip I want to talk about is using an eyeshadow primer. If you have trick, or regardless of if you have trick, an eyeshadow primer will help to prolong the life of your eye makeup and will help it last throughout the day. Um, so if you have trick and you want your eyeliner, for example, to last longer, um, using a waterproof eyeshadow primer is a great idea. And the one that I really like is the NYX Proof It eyeshadow primer. I'm just gonna put that on there and I'm going to use my weakest finger which is either your middle finger or your ring finger. I'm gonna use that to gently spread it around my entire eye area trying not to pull on the eyelid too much till it's all blended in. And then you want to let that dry for a little bit before you apply any um, eye product, any uh, eyeshadow or um, eyeliner. So now I'm going to go ahead and apply the rest of my face makeup. Um, none of that really has any tips or tricks for um, trick. Uh, um, so I'm going to go ahead and skip that so you don't have to sit through all of that. Um, and uh, I'll be right back. So I have my foundation, my concealer, my blush, not blush, bronzer done. Um, and so now it is time to move on with the eyes. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a uh, shade that matches my skin tone and that's just to blend. That's just gonna go from my crease to my brow bone. You can also use more of a, a bone shade and that will add a little bit of highlighting as well. Now this look that I'm going to do is gonna be pretty subtle and, and and I wouldn't say it's natural but I guess you could say it's natural um, because I want to show you guys that you don't have to do really heavy makeup to feel pretty and confident and to hide the things that you want to hide. You can do something that's really pretty and simple and natural. I'm going to go into the Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics palette and I'm going to take the shade Commando right there, just on a fluffy brush. That's just going a nice sweep through the crease. So from the outer corner to the inner corner, just using windshield wiper motions. And then what I like to do is when I get to the outer corner, I like to do circular motions and start to bring it up 
slightly above the crease just to lift that outer corner a little bit. You see how it's darker on the outer corner and lighter on the inner corner. I'm definitely keeping the color mostly concentrated on that outer corner there. And that will give a nice, uh, some nice depth and um, kind of a lifted effect actually too. And you see how I'm holding the brush towards the end of the brush? I'm not all the way up here. I'm holding my brush towards the end. That way I use a very light hand. I'm not putting a ton of pressure on the brush. So it makes a nice blended effect. And it's a little bit safer on your eyes as well. Gentler and safe, safer. Um, and then I'm just taking a clean fluffy brush and I'm going to buff out the edges. Make sure it's all nice and blended. Now that that's done, I'm just taking that fluffy brush that we used to apply Commando again, and I'm taking more of Commando, and I'm just going to start to brush it real lightly onto the outer third of the lid, and blending it up into the crease. If you wanted that color to be a little bit more concentrated, you could use a packing brush, but I'm just trying to make it nice and, nice and blended. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. I really like this highlighter and I actually really like it on the eyes. I'm just taking my finger here, like that, and I'm going to take that right onto the inner two-thirds of the lid, just to add a little bit of brightness. And again, I'm using my middle finger, which is one of the weaker fingers on your hand, and I'm doing patting motions. So I'm not pulling on the skin of my eyelid. And you can use a packing brush for this if you would like. I like using my finger personally. Now I'm taking the fluffy brush again and I'm just using that to blend the edges of where that meets Commando. Alright, that's all blended in. That's what we have so far. Now we're going to focus on eyeliner for a little bit. And the first thing that I recommend that you do, and you don't have to do this on a daily basis, but if you really, you know, if you, if you really want to make your eyelashes uh, look a little bit thicker or to give the appearance that you have them, it helps to add some sort of color onto the uh, waterline of the upper waterline. So I'm taking a brown um, pencil. This is the Rimmel Scandalize Coal Pencil in the shade brown. And I'm going to line my upper waterline with that. And that just helps to make it look thicker, make your lash line look thicker. And it helps to kind of cover up any appearance of skin, which can make your lash line look thinner. All right, so that's that. And you can already see that my lash line looks a little bit more defined, which is really important when you don't have eyelashes, is you really just want to make that lash line defined, because that's what your eyelashes kind of do. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to line my upper lash line and I'm going to add a wing. Um, I like wings for uh, somebody who has trick when they pull out their eyelashes because part of what your eyelashes do um, is when they curl up, they make your eyes look lifted and awake. And so when you don't have eyelashes, it's, it's kind of hard to get that effect. Um, but wings kind of help to supplement that a little bit. Um, do you have to wear a wing every single day? No, you don't. In fact, I don't wear wings most of the time. They're just, they take too long. Um, but for a special occasion, I like a wing. Um, and I like really small wings, which make them a little bit easier to do. I also really like using eyeshadow to do eyeliner. I always find that it looks a little bit more natural than if you were using a liquid, but you can use whatever you feel most comfortable with. Um, so I'm going to dip into the Morphe 35O palette for my eyeliner today. I'm going to grab an angled brush, just an angled eyeliner brush, and I'm going to take this color right here for my eyeliner. And I'm going to start off just by lining my eye. I'm not going to worry about the wing quite yet. Once I have a basic line down, I'm just going to follow my natural, the natural line of my lower lash line and I'm going to create a little tiny wing. 
The last thing I, about powders that I find is that if you mess up, you can always just make it a smudgy wing rather than like a real precise wing, and that will look just as good. You can't do that as easily with gel or liquid. You always want your eyeliner to be thicker on the outer corner than it is on the inner corner. So you want it to gently taper down until you get the line that you want. Then move your head around while you're doing your eyeliner. Get it from different angles because you want it to look good from all angles. Alrighty, there we go. We have some eyeliner done. And I don't know if they're entirely even, but they're close enough, and that's what matters. <laughs> if you have gaps on your lower lash line, um, what you can do is you can take a small um, pencil brush or eyeliner brush and just smudge a little tiny bit, a very thin amount of some of a of a color that matches your hair color. Like for me, I would use a dark taupey color. Um, and that will help to make a little bit of a shadow there that will disguise the fact that you don't have lashes in that spot. The next thing I'm going to do is my eyebrows really quick. And I don't have um, particularly thin eyebrows. So for those of you who have really thin eyebrows or um, eyebrows that may be a little bit more non-existent, uh, I would check out one of Carly's videos. She's the YouTuber that I mentioned earlier um, who does makeup for cancer patients. Uh, she da has some really great uh, tutorials on how to do realistic looking fake eyebrows. Um, and I think that um, she has some really great videos on how to do your eyebrows when you don't have any to start with. Um, and I, so I highly recommend checking her out. But I, for, for people like me who may just have gaps in their eyebrows, it, it's not too hard to fill those in. And really starting with a good eyebrow powder or an eyebrow pomade if you'd like um, is a great place to start. And so I just take a little bit of that and I'll put some in the places where I need a little bit. Oh, this is the... Um, this is the CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow Kit. It's a little dirty, I'm sorry, the, the cover's a little dirty. I use this often, so it gets dirty pretty fast. So I'm just gonna take the brush that came with it, which has a fluffy end and a angled end, and I'm just gonna use the fluffy end to just fill in just a teeny bit, just real rough fill in, just to fill in some of those gaps. And then I take the angled end, I'm using the darkest shade for me personally, and I'm just going in the places that need a little bit extra fill in and the places that need a little bit more of a specific shape. Make sure that you are following the natural growth of the hair. So right around the front here, my hair grows upwards, so my brush will go upwards. And then here, my eyebrow hairs will grow downwards, so I'm using my brush in that direction. So following that natural growth of the hair will help them to look more natural. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to use on my brows is an eyebrow gel. And you can use something that's tinted or not tinted. I recommend tinted if you have thinner brows or if you um, We'll have some gaps you want to fill in because all of our eyebrows have smaller, lighter colored hair. Even if you have dark hair like mine, all of our brows are a little bit, have, have those hairs that are a little bit lighter. And so you may have hairs that you don't really even know about that if you tint them a little bit will make your eyebrows look fuller. Um, but using a non-tinted one too will just help to keep your eyebrow hairs in place so they don't move around a lot. Um, and they will keep the shape that you want. So I'm just combing all of my eyebrow hairs up first using that eyebrow gel and that just to make sure I'm coating all of my eyebrows and then I will comb them back into place. The important thing to remember about your eyebrows is that they should be sisters not twins and if they are not identical that is perfectly okay um, because nobody has identical eyebrows and it would be actually kind of weird if you had identical eyebrows. So don't be obsessive about how symmetrical your brows are because nobody has symmetrical eyebrows. That is what we have so far. 
The next thing I'm going to do is just take some more of the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter and I'm going to take a small packing brush and that's just going to go right on the inner corners and that will just help to make your eyes look bright and awake and then I'm going to put it under the arch of the eyebrow which will give a very nice lifted effect and now I'm going to take a fluffier brush I'm going to use that to highlight the rest of my face and that has nothing to do with trick I just like it <laughs> The next thing I'm going to do is blush, and I'm using the Milani Baked Blush in the shade Berry Amour. I really like using blush um, because it makes your face look awake, bright, and healthy. And I think that's really important to completing your overall makeup look. And it'll just make you feel better knowing that you look just nice and rosy and bright and awake. I don't have a whole lot of tips for somebody who likes to pull out the hairs on their scalp um, just because I don't do it personally. However, I can give you a little bit of tips on how to make your hair look a little bit thicker. Um, so for example, if you tend to have a few spots where you're, where you're balding a little bit. So if you have a few spots where you're balding a little bit or um, and you want to cover that up or you have some spots where you're thin or um, your hair is just naturally thin, this is a good tip. Um, for that. I'm taking a fluffy brush like this one. This one's a little bit more densely packed. I'm going to take an eyeshadow color that um, as closely matches my hair tone as possible. And you could also use um, a brow product for this if you would like. So I'm going to take for my hair color, I'm going to take this one and I'm just using going as light with this as possible. And I'll use my part as an example. This is a great trick if you want to make your part look thicker. Um, you just take that brush and your hair and you just start to lightly tap that in to your hairline and that will make your hair look thicker. And what that does is it diminishes the look of your skin, makes your skin kind of blend in and so it creates shadows that make look Make your uh, make it look like you have hair there. I tend to have a problem with that because I have thinner hair. Um, when I pull back my hair, a lot of times you can see like parts up in here where my hair is thinner. And so what I'll do is I'll just take some of that same color that I used in my part and just start to tap it into my hairline a little bit to just make those spots look a little bit thicker. You don't want to go too overboard with this because then it can start to look unnatural. But doing just the right amount can look really natural. And if you apply bronzer as well, one thing you want to do is make sure you're blending your bronzer into your hairline and that will help to um, uh, make your hairline look a little bit thicker as well. Now the last thing I want to mention that's a nice little trick for um, if you have trick. If you're self-conscious about your eyebrows or your eyelashes, a good way to make you feel a little bit better is by drawing attention away from your eyes, which means you can do something fun with your lips. Um, so like using a bold lipstick color if you feel like it. But again, you could also go a little bit more natural with your lips as well. That's totally up to you. But feel free if you're going subtle with your eyes to go bold with your lips. So today I'm going to go with a gloss, glossy lip, which is a good way of going a little bit more flashy with your lips without using a really bold color if you don't want to. So I'm going to use the Bang Beauty Lip Gloss, and this is in the shade Spice. Alrighty, there we have it. This is the finished look. It's very, very simple, and I just wanted to show you guys that you don't need to go crazy with your makeup. You don't need to do a ton in order to feel confident, to feel be beautiful. Makeup is really something that has helped me to cope with my trick. It's something that has allowed me to feel confident again. And um, I wouldn't have discovered makeup if it wasn't for trick. I wouldn't be as into it as I am now um, if, if it wa wasn't for trick. And and for that I'm grateful. You know, I, I wish I didn't have it, but, um, but, but 
for introducing makeup into my life, I, I'm grateful. Um, this is something that I'm going to be dealing with probably for the rest of my life. Um, but it's not something that has to limit me. And it's not something that has to limit you if you are struggling with this too. We can, we can do this. Um, we can work on this, we can, we can get better, and we can just continue to live our lives regardless of what we have. And what's really important is being able to say that even though you have trick, even though I have trick, I love and accept myself. And that's what's really important. I don't want to hide this from you guys anymore. I want to be in as open and as honest as I possibly can here on my channel. And, and that's really important to me. I'm really excited and I'm really proud of myself for doing this video. I, I hope, I sincerely hope that this video has helped you guys. If, if, if anything, it's made you feel less alone. Um, because that's, that's the number one thing is, is knowing that, that you're not going through this by yourself, that there's other people out there who, who are feeling the same way that you're feeling. Um, that was really important for me and really helpful for me. If you feel up to it, in the comment section below, let me know what your experiences are with trichotillomania and, and the things you have tried, the things you have done, and the successes you've had. I want to hear about the things that you have tried that have worked for you. I would love for you guys to share your uh, trick pictures and your your makeup with trick pictures with me on social media and you can do so using the hashtag Mackenzie obviously. I would love to see your pictures and I would love for us to just share our successes dealing with trick and, and living our lives just being normal because that's what we are. As always, I will have all of the products that I used in today's video listed in the description box below for you to find. I will also have a link to my GoFundMe campaign. 100% um, of those proceeds goes towards making this channel the best it possibly can be for you guys. So if you like my channel and want to help me make it better, please consider donating to that. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at MubyMackenzie. And if you like this video, please give it a big ol' thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like it in the future. Alright guys, it's been a video, um, but that's all I have for today. Remember, makeup has no rules. They're more like guidelines. So, you do you, boo-boo. All right, see you next time, everybody. <laughs> Hello, everyone. <laughs> Pretty much anything that has biotin, 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 is the Maybelline Lash Sen- Blah, 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 blah. There's that eye. <laughs> now let's try to make the other eye match. Or your hair is just naturally thin. Um, these are, I have a little thing. So that's a, just a good, a little, little tidbit there. <laughs> As always, I will have all of the products that I used in today's, 